Who is Stanislavski? Stanislavski was an acting teacher whose influence is still felt in the world of acting training today. He was an accomplished actor and director who devised a way to teach acting technique and fortunately wrote it all down. So who was this teacher? Konstantin Stanislavski was born in Moscow, Russia in 1863. His last name was actually a stage name that he took on later in his life. Born into a wealthy family, Stanislavski and his siblings staged circus shows for their family with acrobats, clowns and sometimes even real horses. Stanislavski often became annoyed with his brother, Vladimir, who would play the accompanying music for the shows, but who would often not perform them properly and give up halfway through, often lying on the floor. Stanislavski was annoyed that his brother did not take things seriously and so began his thoughts about creating professional stage shows. As he grew older, age 14, his father built a theatre in one of the wings of their home and the family staged shows together in an amateur capacity. Although Stanislavski loved the chance to act, he received more criticism from the audiences that were invited to watch. They accused him of talking too quickly, overacting and showing off. No matter what he tried to change, he seemed to make things worse. He attempted to slow his acting down and it was deemed boring and so began a lifelong quest to work out how to act successfully. He watched other actors and tried to copy them, but this simply didn't work. But he did realise that those actors who were successful on stage were acting in a truthful way. He just could not work out how to do this. Stanislavski went to drama school for three weeks before dropping out. Frustrated that the teachers told him what he should be aiming for, but not how to actually get there. Later, Stanislavski started his own theatre, the Moscow Art Theatre, where he experimented with different styles and types of acting through both his own acted performances and direction. He hated the theatricality of the theatre in Russia at that time and found it over the top, grandiose and cliched, with actors going through the motions and tired conventions. He kept a diary in which he mused about how to act and throughout all of his observations and years in the theatre, he eventually devised a system to help teach other actors what he had learned. Three weeks before his death in 1938, his first teaching book, An Actor Prepares, was published. Sadly, Stanislavski did not get to see it in print, although an advanced copy had been sent to his house. The second part of the teaching manual book, Building a Character, would be delayed by World War II and was released in 1948 in Russian. However, Stanislavski's legacy still lives on. The popularity and influence of these manuals still influences acting training and acting methods today.